welcome to the vlog. We are shopping. <laughs> <laughs> we actually are headed to the Cape this afternoon, but on our way out, running to meet my Marcus quick because Max's mom's birthday is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I was really on top of it for Chase <laughs> and I just am. not for your mom. It like snuck up on us well, quick. Well, we already have like birthday it is. plans that we yeah, and we're going to get her. more tomorrow. It's gonna be so good, but we're gonna go see if anything jumps out at us. I'm wearing this new like workout dress I got, and I think it's so cute. Mm -hmm. You love it? I love it. <laughs> I just cut you off. Oh, <laughs> Are you <laughs> kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, I cannot. <laughs> Bobby was up. <laughs> now we're at Pressed Cafe. I've gotten, I like can't speak. I'm feeling so tired right now. I've gotten many recommendations to come here. Just my friends in Boston are like, you would love it. We're sitting outside and there's like so many options, it was overwhelming to know what to get. And I just got a Greek salad and oh, I made chicken. This is it looks so, so good. It is. Yeah, I've just heard like the best things about it here. I also got pasta salad. I also grabbed this feta, spicy feta dip bread. So I thought that would be good with all of this. Yum. And the funny part is, as that just happened, is like, I knew, I just was waiting, I knew you were about to say something. And you calm me out. Okay, watch. Just hold that. This is what I was doing. I think I went like this, and that just went like that. Why did and you do that again? That's gonna be broken. It's case to buy case. No, honey. Do you know anything? It's not broken? <laughs> no, it's case to buy. Oh. Do you, guys, he must be skipping my ass. Cause clearly you don't know that it's drop test approved or drops up to 9.8 feet. Wow. So that's nothing. But anyway. But even like the, Rain face down? Yes, because yeah. there's a bubble. There's a bubble oh. and a buffer. The moral of the story is Max always says that I drop my phone on purpose and I don't. It just does fall a lot and my yeah. case saves the day. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even tell you guys earlier where my new dress is from. I was like, I love it. I didn't even tell you. I believe it's called Isla Movement. It's Susie B's, like the fitness girly. It's her little workout pieces. And she sent me a couple to try. I'm obsessed, you guys. In case you're wondering, I'm wearing a size medium. I believe I got a medium and everything. And like, that's really all I brought here since I just opened the package. I brought a sports bra and shorts for tomorrow morning, like for workout clothes. I mean, obviously, I brought like other clothes. But yeah, I'm loving this. Anyway. We had dinner here, so we had pizza. It was so good. Chris, pizza in Osterville is the best. Delicious. And now we're gonna grab a little drink at Anejo. And I was gonna just keep this on because I'm. I feel like it's so just like chill summer, you know, vibes there. But I figured I should throw this on. I just got this in from Revolve. I thought it was just like, oh, I showed you guys. When I give you a little haul. I'm like, this is so different than any other dress I have. Just like orange knit, really fun summer August. So I think I'm gonna throw this on. We're gonna go. We good? I think this is good, right? I like it. I'm wearing black undies. I really hope you can tell. I don't think you can. <sighs> you never know. Also, there's a weird thing happening with the back. Am I supposed to cut in between? Because I feel like it's pointing the straps here. But I also just feel like maybe that's how it's meant to be. Someone now, let me know. I'm gonna grab my little white button down I had over top. It's Princess Polly, in case you're wondering, I wear a little barber thing. I think we're good. I think we're ready. Around some white little football. I don't even know the background. I don't want them. We're good. Update before we left. I just pulled up the dress on Revolve and looked how the model had it. I fully had it on wrong. I just had to like crisscross the straps over each other and now it looks like this in the back and like lies flat. I'm like, there's gotta be something I'm doing wrong. I'm like, duh. Like it was kind of like pulling the straps that way. So then once I like crossed it over my head, we're all good. Yeah. Morning. I'm so tired. We're doing a little bar. I love stretching the side of the body like that. But remember, when you pick up that one hand, you're opposite our hands to help us out. All right, let's get one more.
right, a little press. <laughs> Good, keep them. All showered and clean after my bar class. This is literally bringing me back to life, you guys. Mary Lou's Snickerdoodle Iced Coffee is so good. I'll do it with almond milk, oat milk. I think today was almond milk. It's just delicious. It's like, the flavor is so good. If you know, you know. If you've had it, could not recommend enough. Huh, Brody? You guys thought Brody was all wet when he came in when we were doing bar because he actually went out with Max's mom to the beach already and was running around swimming. Like, she got the cutest pictures and videos. And now he's like curled up in bed. Are you tired? He gets so sleepy from the beach. But anyway, update is Max is golfing right now with grandpa and we actually have time before the Kipmore concert tonight. Did I tell you guys we're going? It's in Providence. Come here. Come say hi. <laughs> and so yeah it's Max's mom's birthday and so we're like let's do whatever you want to do today girl and the concert's later so we have time until then so we might like go out on the boat go to the beach or something in the meanwhile but yes. You want to leave? Okay bye. But for the meantime, I just threw on my little outfit this perfect time to shout out the sponsor of this video. Thank you so much, Cut, for working with me on this video. You guys already know my most favorite shirts. I know I worked with them very recently on YouTube, but they're actually sponsoring this video because I've heard through the grapevine that their sixth anniversary sale is being extended through August 25th. So the by the time this goes up, I know it's initially only going to be for a week, but I heard it's extended. So you might only have like one or two more days to shop the sale by the time this video goes up. So hop on that because their sale ranges from like 25 to 50 50% off everything like literally everything on their website is on sale This is my most favorite style of shirt from them. This is the tomboy tee in the cropped version I'm just obsessed. I love that this one's like I love the cropped one because all my stuff is like high-waisted and I just love like the more form-fitting It's like stretchy comfy you guys always ask me for sizing and some of the ones I have are in a small some of the ones I have are in a medium So sorry, that's confusing. I just feel like that's how I am in sizing typically like between a small or a medium This I think is a medium because I feel like my small just kind of like it's like a little bit tighter around right there but yeah love the way it fits you guys know my gray color is definitely my most worn I wear it like every day but I'm just loving like the all black vibe you guys know I first found out about cuts because I actually started with men's clothing and they're Max's favorite he actually just got three new shirts and I believe with like new colors that they have so I'll have him show you guys that later when he gets back home but yeah I just had to make sure you guys knew that the sale is being extended because I always get DMs from you guys being like wait what are those shirts you love again what are your favorite shirts what's your code so my memory card was just full. But I was saying you guys will always ask my code, which it's always been the same. It's just my name, Gretchen Garrity, for 15% off. However, I believe during the sale it's not working just because they their sale is like more percentage off than my code. You know what I mean? Because everything's 25 or 50% off. But yeah, typically it is Gretchen Garrity for 15% off. That'll start working again after the sale if you guys missed the sale. But definitely hop on the sale while you can. I feel like they really have sales like this big. So this is such a good time to try out my favorite shirts if you are interested. This again is a tomboy tee that's like a little bit more of a tighter fit and then the one that's like a looser fit is the almost Friday tee which I love as well just like a little bit more casual. So I'll have them linked down below and I actually think I'm gonna throw on a little bathing suit underneath this. Like I said we're gonna like head to the beach. Right now I just have like a sports bra. This is that Isla right I was telling you about. How cute. We love this skirt but Anyway, I'm gonna throw my bathing suit on underneath. Brody's barking. We're gonna go. Good boy. <laughs> Next, we'll learn to do the straw. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm freaking out. <laughs> wow, parents and hummus, brother. Oh my god, it's slobber all over. <laughs> What's everyone doing out here? Wow. Full house. <laughs> there he is. You're all right, Brody. Brody. <laughs> Literally just goes flying go off the boat. Oh, no. <laughs> Do I need to go out, I need to go out there. Okay, we'll come get you. Another golden friend. <laughs> Brody. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> I've been having our sandwiches. I did not want to get my hair wet. And then I had to jump in because Brody freaking jumped in. <laughs> you going to play with your friend? <laughs> oh, you guys. Look at them. It's later. We're all ready for kit. Just got ready. I have a cool 
my hair in a minute. I feel like, funny, I feel very fancy, but I got this little set on our ball. It's like my favorite brand recently, and I nada. And I think I need to tie, tie it a little tighter because when it goes too long on the side, you can like see my undies a little bit. So we gotta cut up a bit, but I don't know. When I saw it, I was just like, I must have it. All these little tie details I thought were so cute. I'm just gonna do my white little on sneakers I got with it. They're from the stairs. And I think there's like a very strict like no bag policy. So I'm literally just gonna hold my phone and like get videos on there if that's okay with you guys. This is gonna be like an iPhone vlog. But yeah, it's my first time it's all set. I'm so excited. Max Iron it for me. Got a little sweetie. Oh my god, I'm so excited. If you guys know Kit Moore is our favorite. I've actually seen him through this will be my third or fourth movie. I think this will be my third time seeing him in person. I just love Kit really big Kim. So, it's going to be so great. I am on Brody set. Oh, there's Brody a car. Set. Hang on. And we're back. <laughs> we had lots and lots of fun last night. What's oh. going on with my hair? Kind of big stick. I feel funny right now, but this is like all I had to throw over go. my bathing suit. These are my $30 white Amazon pants. Loving them. My princess probably white button up that I put over everything. Blue bathing suit. Revolve. We're gonna have a boat day. Oh, Max is wearing the new cuts that I told you guys about. Oh gosh. <laughs> this stick just ran into me. I feel like you've had this color before. Or maybe like a similar one. Uh, no. Good green. Oh, well I like I, it. I do like it. Lovely. Is that the curve hem? No, it's I can um, tell from this side. Or elongated. Oh, like elongated. Oh, like a little bit longer. Yeah. We love. Yeah. Anyway, this lighting is getting crazy, but we are walking to Nirvana right now, getting a coffee. 
but we need to recap. Kitmore was insane. I also don't know if you guys can tell, I actually left my phone in the car. <laughs> and all the clips I got were from Mac, so thank you. Thank I was a pro boyfriend videographer. Yeah, you really were. And we just had the best time. Come on, bro. Okay, I wasn't gonna say, but I'm sure you guys could tell from the footage, especially Max, like jumped up on the side of the stage. Don't ask how, but we literally like worked our way backstage a little bit. So that was just like unreal and the best birthday for your mom and yeah she had so much fun just like so special so yeah we'll never forget that and i need coffee because we were extremely tired we literally got back at two because it was in providence we're like unwell here we are <laughs> our face okay we got our coffees my favorite things in the world, Nirvana Donuts. I can't even see the screen. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There we are. Then here is my cold brewed oat milk. Delicious, you guys. Also, Brody and I took our annual photo on this bench here, and it's gonna be so cute. Mm -hmm. And we picked up real breakfast at the Buttercup Cafe. It's gonna be so good. Wait. Oh, <laughs> Brody got some donuts. Now we want some more. Oh, boy. I think you just licked mine a little. Brody! Okay. Brody. <laughs> swimming in once again. I cannot with him. He likes to He's making a grand entrance. Woody! Right. I did not vlog at all when we were out. Bye. It was so sunny for a while and then it got... You look lovely. Hello. <laughs> you look lovely as well. It's so bright. I don't know if they can really see, but like, yeah, you can see. So pretty. Now we can see the view better. The sun is going down. <laughs> Got our stuffed cohort. It was so good. Jason. Oh, yeah, sure. Then we sat outside after. It was like super crazy. I suppose. <laughs> You're in like the glowing lighting spot. Care <laughs> of the dog. <laughs> the highlighter is shining and glistening. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The sunset progression. I got some cod. Get all of this. I want to say Heather. So it's not Heather. <laughs> Get who you know, you know. What's is this her name? School of Rock? Yeah, School of Rock. Miranda Cosgrove, what's her name? Oh, I can't, what's her name? It's School Summer. of Rock. Summer. Summer. Summer Hathaway. <laughs> that was the last one. Dewey. 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 And Max and Abby. Oh no, I don't like that. Sounds like Zora the Jungle. Let's bring it up here. Really light. And the groupie. Nice, but. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Morning. We are back in Boston. I feel like I barely vlogged yesterday at all, so apologies for that. But we literally had the best weekend on the key. Hmm. Didn't we? <laughs> We had so much fun and it was like really hard saying goodbye to Max's family because we probably won't see them until, I would say Christmas, but they'll probably come visit during the hockey season, um, but we won't be back to the Cape till like Christmas probably, which is like so sad. I just can't believe summer is kind of like coming to a close here. Max, well actually Max and I leave in three days. I'm just gonna go home for a little bit and then I'm gonna come back here with Lucy and she's gonna help me fully move out. Max is like going back to my battery died. But I was just saying that Max is fully going back, moving out in three days to start training, then training camp, the season starting. Literally where did summer go? It just flew by, so yeah, I'm in my fields today. It's like a rainy day and I'm like starting to get sad because I was so excited for the summer. And we had so much fun, we did so much, but like still goes by so quick. Also, at the end here quickly, in case any of you were like on the edge of your seat if the suspense was killing you. 
<laughs> I did get my results back for that food sensitivity test I did. Okay, stopped recording again and my memory card was full. I did get my results back and I actually got so many conflicting responses from you guys in my DMs. I got like numerous DMs. Just some of you saying that the food sensitivity test from Everly Well was like so helpful and just really like eye-opening and helped with like inflammation in your body and bloating and like all those things. And then a lot of other people were like, oh my gosh, no, this test is nonsense. Don't waste your money. It's not going to tell you anything. For like a number of reasons, it's not that effective. And my results, I was so like shocked and I'm starting to feel like, hmm, like I'm just a little mm, skeptical. Yeah, because so it basically is like categories like in my mind, it's like red, yellow, green kind of, or just like the highest level of like reactivity with your body is like the food that you would be like the most sensitive to probably. And then like medium and then low. So 90%, like all of the foods pretty much, mostly, most of the foods were like, not reactive for me, which I figured because I am not, I don't think I have that many food sensitivities. Like I don't notice. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Like I'm not that bloated or like sick to my stomach. My stomach hurts, digestion issues most of the time, but only like some foods. And I just know, so this is why I'm so confused because I just know if I have something very heavily like cream based, maybe I didn't need to take the test because I just know this about myself. If I go have like a really heavy like pasta with like Alfredo sauce, for example, or even like ice cream, just things with like heavy cream in it, my stomach will kill. And that was not on there for food that I was sensitive to. So I was so confused. I'm like, what? Like, that's something that I know my stomach is sensitive to? Okay, I might as well just tell you. They said that I had one food that was like way over the normal level that I would be the most sensitive to. And it was egg whites. And I'm like, what? I literally have eggs every day and I feel fine. Like I always have eggs on my avocado toast and I haven't even tried cutting them out. It's like maybe try like cutting out these things, see how you feel. But I'm like, I love eggs. They make me feel fine. Maybe I should try maybe whatever. Because I've also heard that it's not necessarily like bloating stomach ache. It could just be that like other reactions in your body. Like you could be reactive right in other ways. Like maybe it would just make me really low energy or something like that. But I was shocked that my number one thing was egg whites. I'm like, that can't be right. Then in the other category, there was only two. So there's only three foods that I was like sensitive to. And then like lower level, but still sensitive to was almonds and oranges. And again, I'm so confused. I love almonds. I love oranges. I always feel fine when I have them. <laughs> Yeah, like I never have a stomach ache or anything like that, but again, maybe it's like I, my body is like reactive in other ways. I don't know, I just thought I would give you guys an update in case you were wondering, but I'm starting to feel like, does that test do anything at all? Cause I just know, like how could some dairy things not be on there? Because I know that it hurts my stomach. Maybe that's all in my head, but like, I don't, I don't know. And I swear that started because I never had issues with dairy. And then I was vegan for like a year, my freshman year of college. And after that, dairy started to bother me and hurt my stomach. And I think it's because I wasn't used to having it. And so then my body was like, what the heck? Now we're doing like having this again, but like we can't break it down as well. Anyway, I'm gonna end off the vlog here because it's getting so long. <laughs> I was watching a video, Brody's chewing his bone. <laughs> There's a lot going on. We had the best weekend on the Cape. Literally the Kip Moore concert was like the highlight of our weekend. We had so much fun. It was the best. So wait. P.S. Don't forget, Cuts is linked down below. I just remembered that they sponsored this video and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm literally wearing Cuts. This is the Almost Friday tee that I was telling you guys about. The more like loose fitting one, just in the black tee. I'm wearing the white and black all the time. Yeah, link down below. I'm gonna end this off here. Love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.